the IOC noted that canceling is not a consideration at this time. Stephen A., talk to me. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, they need to postpone it. I completely agree with Sandy Morris. Um, obviously, you have a plethora of Olympians out there uh, who agree with her as well, and I stand with them, and I think the nation, the world needs to stand with them, not just America, the, uh, the entire world. Canada is already on board. Australia is already on board, calling for postponements of at least a year. They are absolutely right. And here is the reason why. I've personally spoken to a couple of Olympians, obviously, that were a bit reluctant to come on camera and talk about it, even though I think they'll change their mind in short order. Here's the reality. The Olympians, because there has been no cancellation, they're being forced to train. Because you can't sit up there and not train mm -hmm. and then turn around and they say, excuse me, the Tokyo Games are still going to go on and you show up unprepared. You've been training for this for over three plus years, going on four years. You've got to be ready to go. As a result, in order to make yourself ready to go, you've got to get out there and train argue uh, in, in all likelihood with other athletes. What does that mean? The social distancing that the world is imploring all of us to practice, the IOC isn't on board with that. Now, what kind of sense does that make? You know the athletes are going to train because they've got to be ready. In order to be ready, they got to train with and against one another, which means they can't practice social distancing. And everybody in the world, the World Health Organization, federal governments locally, uh, governments throughout the world have been imploring people to do the same thing in Italy, Korea, Japan, China, everywhere. Stay the hell away from each other. But the IOC hasn't canceled anything, thereby forcing these athletes to literally subject themselves or potentially expose themselves to the coronavirus. Now, that's just counterproductive to everything that we're being preached about. So the point is, delay the games by a year. That way it gives athletes the opportunity to step away, go back with their families, practice social distancing, be safe not just for themselves, but for all of us without jeopardizing themselves in Olympic competition. That is what needs to be done. It needs to be done immediately, and the IOC needs to get off their behinds and make a decision and make the decision in the best interest of people across the world. That's what they're supposed to be doing. It's what they're not do it now. Max? Um, the Olympics is a giant piece of commerce dressed up as an opportunity for a brotherhood or sisterhood of nations um, and, and simultaneously not only promoting this idea of this kind of world coming together, but also of nationalism because you're rooting for your, you're rooting for your home country and all that. It's really a brilliant, giant piece of commerce in which, by the way, you don't have to pay the athletes. The Olympics are rife with corruption um, up to the highest levels throughout its history. Um, and the fact that they're slow to want to give up the money is unsurprising to me. Um, they don't have a very transparent process. And I haven't been a big fan, unless you, in case you can't tell, of the way um, it's organized and the kind of decisions that have been made in the past. And so. Um, I'm unsurprised by the behavior of the Olympic Committee at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's not about surprise, though. I mean, like I'm saying, it's one thing to not be surprised, and I completely agree with you, Max, but there comes a point in time where it's unacceptable. We were looking at pro sports in the United States of America. We asked Major League Baseball, where the hell are you? Why are you asleep at the wheel? Before they ultimately suspended this season, at least for the first couple of weeks and beyond. We were asking these questions and we excoriated the NCAA for dragging their feet before they ultimately canceled March Madness. Here we are talking about the IOC, the International Olympic Committee. You have athletes who obviously have been training for years and know that once the games come on, they absolutely positively must be ready. They're not being paid. They're amateur athletes, if you want to use that term, that train four years for these events. And the world has been told we need to practice social distancing. This coronavirus is no joke. Leagues upon leagues are losing billions of dollars. Leagues across the globe have been canceled. 
but the IOC, uh, you, you haven't canceled the Olympics, you haven't postponed it or suspended it for a year, it makes absolutely no sense because it By the slaps way, and very everybody recently, in the face in terms of talking about good health. You can't jeopardize people like this. You have to postpone the games. Right. You have no choice. You're right. You're absolutely right. And very recently, even the statement was made, well, we're not, we're not considering postponement yet. Like, you know, it, it's absurd. It's ridiculous. But that's the point. There are, there are bad faith operators around the world right now who operate on their short-term incentives constantly. Whatever the thing is to win today, and then you'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, because you'll do the same thing then and then disavow what you said the day before. And those people should not be in leadership positions, particularly at times like this, because here's a time where you have to sacrifice your short-term gain for the long-term literal health of everyone. And, and it doesn't seem to me that the Olympic Committee um, has been up to that challenge, and um, this is more of the same. There's a lot mm -hmm. of people that haven't been yep. up to challenges in regards to this because this is something completely new, unexpected, and we get all of that. But it falls. It's not just about incompetence. It's 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 it's, it's incomprehensible to me how the world could be telling you our health is in danger and everyone around you throughout the world has responded. But the Olympic Committee, that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. The IOC no. has well, four and you're weeks. One, one, the very health one to make that athletes. decision. At the highest level of some governments, including ours, there have been the suggestion put out there in the last 24 hours that after a couple of weeks, let's reevaluate. Maybe the economy is more important than people's health. Like insanity. So the kind of insanity the, that the Olympic leadership is showing is not. I, I, it, it's not unprecedented in our world today. 